to you Whoa. I think it's overdue Whoa. There's nothing left Whoa. to say to you Hi, my name is Dan Kastanek uh, I play guitar and sing backup vocals for Mid-December I'm John, I'm from Barney, I sing in Mid-December Hey, I'm Big Mike, I play the bass in Mid-December and I'm from Manchester Township, New Jersey my name is Brian DiCataldo from Lacey Township, playing guitar from mid -December. My name is Mike, I am from Whiting, uh, and I play the drums in mid-December. It's just another day, there's nothing left to say to her. I'm kind of the guy that, that brought everybody together, because first in like 1998, it was like I was a freshman in high school, uh, me and Big Mike are in a band. And he came up to me in high school and asked me to play with him. I was a senior in high school, he was like a freshman, and uh, I heard that he played the drums and he was really good, so I would pretty much scare him every day and go up to him and tell him that if he didn't come and play the, play the drums with uh, me and my friend Joe, that it was bad news. And, you know, so he eventually gave in and I showed up his house one day, and, and we've been together ever since. After uh, I played with him with Wine Prophet, I met Dan through a friend named Ray in vocational school and we started playing in the band together. The Ghost Reality was a pop-punk band formed around, you know, in 1999, about October, by me and Mike Scardello, the drummer, and our bass player was Amanda Ritchuti, and, uh, <clears throat> let's see, Joe McCaskey played guitar for us for a while, and some prick named Matt sang for us for a while, he's a real asshole. But we, we, we played, you know, around the Ocean County area. We were a big hit. After the band with Dan broke up, uh, I started, Brian came up to me one day at a lake, like two, like when I was in a band with Dan, Brian tried to steal me into his band. But then a year later, I actually, once Dan broke up, I met Brian and I started playing with Brian and his band. Four Men in December was my band Fallen Grace. We were together four years and then we lost our drummer. So that's how Mike Scardiello came incorporated with the music playing. Uh, we wrote a lot of songs together. Started using the drum beats with the split chords and then we rocked. And then uh, after we broke up, me and Mike knew we had to stick together. I kind of didn't want to start a band from scratch because it was going to take way too long. So I just called up you know, all the guys that I played with, the best players. John was just luck. I met Mike Scardillo, the drummer, uh, at, a, at a homegrown show, actually, at Birch Hill. And I was wearing a t-shirt at the time that displayed uh, the vocal group that I was in at, at school. So he came up to me and asked me if I sang, because he was the first singer. And uh, I listened to the demo, we played our practice, two weeks later we played a show. Deep 